All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the makeshift nailgun mod, which is being made by user Pigness. And what this can glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, exactly what the name says, a makeshift nail gun that I have very much been enjoying. Now, this is actually meant as an offshoot for the Fallout 4 story expansion project and is meant to add in a more middle ground makeshift weapon into the game, which I very much do like because it always seems weird that there's no real makeshift weapons past the early game, and this is very solidly mid-game with the damage it can produce, which is wonderful. So let's uh, jump on over here and have a look at what we do get with the makeshift nail gun, which in its most standard basic form will deal 55 damage with a railroad spike with a firing rate of 2, range of 119, accuracy of 66, and a weight of 5.6. Not too bad there. And as you can see, this is pretty well made. I very much do like the uh, modeling and texturing on this. It certainly does appear to be borrowing some uh, parts from the standard pipe pistols with the uh, pistol aspect back here. But then, of course, you've got all the new junk in the front and the very steampunk vibe on the side here and of course the nails which all works together quite nicely and i really do love the design of it especially that sort of steampunk nature because well that's just entertaining who doesn't like steampunk and with all the different modifications you do have available with this thing you can really make some fun and wacky weapons with this, which I always do love. It's Fallout, you should have some wacky things, and this definitely provides that for you. You want to launch flaming nails at people to light them on fire? Go ahead! Poison nails? Sure. Even electrified ones and more. It is very darn cool, and I very much do enjoy that. So, all in all, a pretty fun gun, lots of mods, pretty decent stats. I mean, it's slow, but that can be modified out as well. And just the overall look is neat, having a more mid-game makeshift weapon. Now, as for how you do get your hands on one of these lovely things, well, it's pretty darn simple, but you are going to have to wait until level 18, where you'll find this integrated into the leveled list, and specifically it will be found on railroad agents, raiders, and even super mutant bosses. And considering the, um... Ammunition being the railway spikes, it makes sense entirely that the railroad would be using these. But uh, yeah, still, so that'll probably be the easiest way to get them is from those railway agents. And again, starting at that level 18. So once more making this a pretty solidly mid-game gun. Now let's head on over here to the workbench and take a look at what we do get here for those fun, wacky modifications. And start in the receiver category where we've really got three kinds of receivers, either the bolt action, semi-automatic, or fully automatic. And for each, you also get an improved version to add in some more uh, damage, fire rate, etc. The usual bits, which is pretty cool. Now you're going to get the highest damage on the bolt action uh, with 60 here for the improved which isn't too bad, so if you are wanting to make a sniper nail gun, which is just a funny concept to me, this is where you're gonna wanna go. But hey, fully automatic down here still ain't too bad at 39 on the improved damage for that, with a pretty decent firing rate. Now then in the barrel category, we've got the short, which is standard, but we also do have a long and heavy barrel, as well as, you know, bringing in some of the wacky damage, an electrified barrel, and an ignited barrel for if you want to light things on fire, because who doesn't want that? It's just fun. And then in the grip category, we've got the standard grip, as well as a comfort grip and sharpshooter grip, if you want to keep this as a pistol. But for rifle, we've got the full stock, high pressure stock, and recoil compensating stock. Very nice there. Then in the magazine category, we've got a lot of fun options here, where we've got the standard size, a medium, and then large magazine. And then in the standard, medium, and large, you have the option of either choosing a barbed for bleeding damage, a barbed nail, or a poisoned nail to add, of course, poison damage. And again, those come in either the standard, medium, or large variety, which is just 
hilarious. So not only can you add electrified and fire damage through the barrels, you can then add barbed for bleeding and poisoned nails in here too. So you can actually stack a lot of different kinds of damage onto this thing, which is pretty darn fun. Now then, finally, in the Sights category, we've got Standard, Improved, Reflex, Short, Medium, Recon Scope, and then a Long Scope. So a pretty decent amount of things in here. I'd like to see maybe a few more of the more uh, custom modded in ones, but this is perfectly acceptable with a lot of good things. So very nice there. And that is it for all the different modifications. So let's take a look at this thing in practice. And uh, let me go ahead and grab my uh, different ones over here. And start, of course, with the standard one and take some shots. There we go, all of the rounds from that magazine of nails released, and as you can see on the just standard one, the iron sights are, um, well I mean they're there, you got like a little nub at the top of the gun, and they do work, but it's, ha ah boy, a thing. It's kind of hard to shoot with it, definitely you're going to want to get at least the improved sights on this to make it more viable, but overall quite nice. And it is always fun with, you know, any weapon that uses the railway spikes that, well, they are visual things in the world there. It's just hilarious. I mean, it's a rail or a nail gun, but um, yeah, considering it's using the railway spike ammunition, it's uh, <laughs> appears much bigger once you actually shoot, which is a bit odd, but yeah, I can, I can deal with that for the fun of these weapons. Now let's take a look at the sniper one that I made here with 60 physical damage and 50 electrical with that electrified barrel and I also did add in the barbed nails in here so that we do have some bleeding damage which is pretty cool and just that electrified barrel is just so fun <laughs> I love when you get weird wacky things like that with fallout guns because I mean it's fallout that makes sense so let's fire this one which is still bolt action because I went with sniping so it is still that a very slow speed but with the scope on there and that electric damage and bleeding it's gonna do a pretty good amount of damage to any enemy very nice and one more shot beautiful and then finally let's take a look at my fully automatic one that I made a recoil compensating automatic makeshift nail gun rifle which I had to. I had to stack all the different weird damages on this one. We're automatic, so it's only doing the 39 base damage. We got poison, we got fire, we got electrical in there somehow too, which I don't remember how I got, but it's just <laughs> so many bits of damage. And it's such a weird looking gun that I absolutely love it. And it's just gonna add all the effects onto your enemies. So let's go ahead and grab that. And being automatic, fire away. There we go. And you can see it does have a fair amount of kick per shot, but it's pretty easily controllable, so it's not too bad at all. I actually really do like the re uh, the reflex side on this thing. It's quite cool, a very unique to this gun, unlike the typical reflex sights we do get. It's got that whole little like handle up there. Very neat indeed. We got some extra stuff sticking off of the gun just from all the different parts. That's very cool. It's just a very fun, unique weapon. My one and only complaint is that the, um, the ammo hanging down here, I really wish, and I think this is probably more of a game limitation than a mod limitation, it, it looks like it should be feeding into the gun, because, you know, it's belt fed. But of course, in the game, it functions just as, like, a magazine, and if we shoot all the rounds and reload, we're <laughs> grabbing the whole the whole belt and putting it back in <laughs> it's a little weird it's a little weird but i can live with it i can live with it just because it looks entertaining and my god we have launched a lot of these downrange good times so let's uh test this against a uh, opponent now even though it is a mid-game gun with not the greatest damage we're still gonna pop ourselves in a uh, death claw and see how that goes with the automatic one here uh, I mean, we got 14 rounds for it, and oh my god, I just love seeing him on fire. <laughs> 
It did too much to him, but he's got that haze from the poison. He had the fire from, well, the fire. It's just hilarious. I love that. Oh, boy. All right. Die, Deathclaw. Oh, that's going to take a while with him. That is going to take a while, but I love all the different particle effects from that. We're just giving him all of the damage. All of the different damage kinds in this game. All right. And there we go. I mean, even as uh, firing semi-automatic automatic from this thing, pretty darn good and accurate with that controllable recoil. Granted, I still just suck at shooting, so I'm sure I'm missing, like, most of my shots, but oh well. <laughs> He's almost down. We have fired a fair few rounds at him, though, because of my ineptitude at aiming. And, of course, the uh, plume of steam coming out of this thing can get a little bit distracting. Making it a little bit harder to aim at times, but overall, I'd say acceptable, because it is just kind of part of the fun and interesting nature of the gun. All right, let's just finish him off hopefully here. There we go. Die, Deathclaw. Die. <laughs> Magnificent. But yes, that is the makeshift nail gun. A very strange, interesting weapon. Again, I do love seeing more makeshift weaponry being added in more for the mid-game, for this post-apocalyptic world, and being a nail gun, and one that can add just all sorts of different kinds of damage. Is just entertaining to me. So if you'd like to take a look at this for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you have enjoyed. You do come back for the next one. Until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, we'll have a good one.